I'm Nikki. And this is my fiance, Kelsey. We're getting married this year, and we can't wait to make this perfect day our own. It's wedding season, and this week we're talking about skincare. I'm getting married this year, and I'm very excited, but also there's a lot to do. And that's not just for wedding planning, but everything to do with being a bride. For the next few months, I'm gonna go through all of the ultimate bridal prep that I possibly can. That's gonna include skincare, hair, nutrition, working out, accessories, makeup, to see if I can actually do it. My current skincare regimen is very, very simple. I wash my face in the morning and at night with a simple cleanser for sensitive skin. For my skincare journey, I'm gonna consult a dermatologist and an esthetician to help me find out what my ultimate skincare routine should be for me to look amazing. Hi there, how are you? A little nervous. About the wedding or about me? Both. <laughs> I've never been to a dermatologist before. I've never gotten a facial. I really have no idea what I'm getting into. I was a bride not too long ago, almost two years exactly. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a stressful time. Yeah. And a lot of things with the skin are related to stress. So when you're under stress, things of course, especially acne. Mm -hmm. I'd say I have pretty average skin. I have some like dry, splotchy patches like kind of around my cheeks and my face area. I'm gonna call out a lot of stuff. and I I don't want to overwhelm you, but this is what my eye and my clinical judgment expertise sees. Okay. These lines should only be there when you're moving, but as you can see, there's yeah. two lines here. Frown in the middle, like you're mad. You see how these kind of form? These are called your 11 lines, mm. so another area where Botox can help. It's a little bit hollow under your eye. I think it would be nice if your chin came out a little bit more on the lower part. You have a little bit of rosacea. Rosacea? Really? For the redness, we have a laser called the XLV. Ah! And then we have another device called Clear and Brilliant. Sounds like burning rubber. If you want to do some Botox today, we can do here if you like. Mm -hmm. Is that a lot of information? Yes. All right, so let's get started. Feels like a little bit of a sting. One, two, and three. Ah! So we're ah. selectively targeting red blood cells Ugh. to heat up your vessels. It's like a teeny tiny needle. Ah. Okay, that's it. Ah. Good job, you did it. That was way more intense than I thought it would be. We did two different lasers, one for redness and one for pore minimizing. The experience was not super pleasant. It was kind of shocking. So this is the laser genesis. How's that? That's okay. Well, I can smell it. Yeah, that's the debris on your skin. Is that it makes your skin smoother. It's a textural. Do thing. I look beautiful yet? All right, get angry for oh, me. Oh my God. Good job, gonna okay, go right in the middle. Uh -huh. Whoa, is that, what is it's that? It's a bubble. Why? <laughs> What's happening? It's a bubble of Botox. It goes away in like five seconds. <sighs> Easy and quick. Three to four days it starts working. All right, it was really okay. nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Good luck with everything, yes. okay? Um, so that just happened. <laughs> yeah, wait till I tell my fiance that I got Botox today because she does not know. What do you think of my Botox? It looks so smooth. <laughs> I'm gonna be beautiful. You are beautiful. Hi, welcome to Kiehl's. Thank you. We get a lot of brides to be coming into Kiehl's and we call it Let's Get You Ready for Wedding Day Skin. I picked Kiehl's because a lot of my friends use Kiehl products and actually really, really love them. So I was really excited to get like an entire regimen from them. Do you wear makeup? I do, okay. a little bit. Do you I wear sunscreen? I don't, but my dermatologist gave me one, so I do now. Okay, you have to. <laughs> I'm gonna use our skin barrier testing tabs. Okay. And I'm gonna actually diagnose your skin type. They're only gonna pick up your natural sebum. Oh. So you're definitely a little bit oilier on the forehead. Okay. And drier on the cheek. So this is um, a dehydration analyzer tool. This sends an undetectable microcurrent 10 layers deep into the skin. So ideally, I'd like you to be at 50% hydration. You came back at 34 points. Six. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's so bad. It's okay, no, it's not horrible. So I'm gonna pull out our skin strengthening complex. This is the base of any apothecary preparation. Pore minimizing, and then we're also gonna do our neutralizing of the redness. You're gonna just do two or three drops morning and night. There's your apothecary preparations. Okay. Calendula, cleanser, and toner, morning and night. Great moisturizer, creamy eye with avocado for the eyes. Your sunscreen, soothing hydration mask, the microderm abrasion, one time a week. Did not expect to get 
that many products. If anything, I'm gonna smell like a whole new woman. So it's only been a day since I've been at the dermatologist and like you can kind of already see like I'm way less red than I normally am. Is there anything different you guys can tell about my forehead? There are less lines? Yes! Do you have Botox? Yeah. What? <laughs> Did it work? I think so. <laughs> it worked. Botox works. I have fewer lines up here, but I would be hesitant to do again. For me, it's just very disconcerting telling your brain to move a certain part of your body and that part not moving. So that was very odd for me. The lasers, those things worked really, really well. I'm glowing. So I'm a few days into using my all of my new products and my skin is actually really, really dry. I just, you can see there's like, skin flaking off. My skin did freak out a little bit. I think I honestly just made the jump too quickly. I went from using like two products to using like eight. I think I figured out it's the toner. The toner that came with like the face wash that I use. When I reintroduced that, my skin like did the same thing and got really, really dry and like would flake off just to the touch. It's just not right for my skin. So I'm gonna stop using it. But other than the toner, like the serum is great. I still use my rosacea cream. Eye cream is really nice. So I have my daily routine and then I have the weekly mask, which is lovely. Hi, I'm Mickley. Hi. I'm gonna be working on your face today. Great. And we went over your allergies, mm -hmm. discussed all that. So I'm gonna start by cleansing and I'm gonna take a look and see what's going on. Great. Okay. Thank you. So I had a facial for the first time. It's not that I never wanted one. I think it's just like in the spectrum of things I wanted to spend money on, that was just pretty low priority. I met with Mickley, who is an esthetician, who gave me that Hydra facial. We do a lot of exfoliating in facials. There's different ways. There's chemical exfoliants, there's physical exfoliants. Today I'm gonna be using kind of a combination of both. A machine called Hydrofacial. The machine does everything your skin needs. It cleanses, it exfoliates, it extracts, it protects, and a peptide infusion. So they help protect and strengthen the skin. Oh my goodness, my pores. <laughs> Don't touch it. Oh, sorry. Am I glowing? She was just able to clean my skin in a way that I'm not able to do myself. It was so relaxing. It was so nice. My skin feels very, very clean and soft. So after 30 days, I've definitely noticed a difference. Now that my skin's gotten used to the products, I do feel a lot clearer. My skin feels a lot better. It's softer and I am a lot less red. Here are three things that I learned from this experience. Number one, sunscreen. Sunscreen is like the number one protector of keeping your skin not damaged. Two, there are a lot of factors that can affect your skin. Stress, genetics, hormones, and your diet. And that's just a few of them. So even though you're taking really good care of it, you should watch out for other factors as well. And finally, give yourself time. Talk to a doctor six months in advance. Try a new regimen at least three months ahead of time. So getting your perfect wedding day skin is actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I got like some of the best care from some of the best professionals I could find. And even then like I got a zit on my face last week. I do think I achieved that glow that I was looking for. Everyone's talking about being glowy on their wedding day. It's definitely possible. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I'm like nervous about looking like Ellen in suit and white suit. <laughs> very wedding vibes. Yeah. It is a little Ellen though. It's wedding season and this week we're talking about suits. Because my fiance and I are both female identified, one of the first questions I get is, are you wearing a dress? No, I'm not. Just because I have a vagina doesn't mean I have to wear a big poofy white dress on my wedding day. I've personally never felt comfortable in dresses. There are also like a lot of stigmas around same-sex relationships of like, well, who's the man? Well, neither of us is the man, but yes, I will be wearing a suit. I wanna feel comfortable in how I'm expressing my gender. And sometimes that looks like suits, and sometimes that looks like heels, and sometimes it looks like whatever the f I want it to look like. It's non-traditional, but there's a lot about me that's non-traditional. I'm gonna be working with Tony and Leon from Sharp Suiting, who are gonna help me find my ideal wedding suit. And I'm really excited because the canvas is kind of blank for this. Congratulations on your engagement. Are you excited? Yes, I'm pumped. Great. What all are we gonna do today? We are going to take your measurements, fit some jackets just to check some colors and size fits. So tell me a little bit more about your wedding. The ceremony is gonna be an outdoor. The reception is like an inside and pavilion type space. So a lot of natural decor, a lot of neutral colors. Mm -hmm. Finding suits for women can be hard. Lately, there have been a lot more women in Hollywood and red carpets rocking the heck 
back out of suits. I think Janelle Monet looks great in suits. If I can look anything like her, I think we've done a good job. In terms of design and color, what did you have in mind? Clean cut, slim fit, really sharp and really good. I wanna look hot. Those aren't very descriptive words. <laughs> More elegant and classic. Yes. Yeah. That. Okay. Tony and Leon just went over everything. Like, what details are we looking for? What's the style we're going after? They also helped design the suit to match the venue and what Kelsey was wearing, which I still don't know. We're gonna actually ask you to leave so we can talk to her a little bit about her wedding dress. Fine, get out of here. <laughs> My fiance will be wearing a dress because that's what she would like to wear. Strapless, sweetheart neckline, sparkly champagne bodice, and tulle ivory skirt. So I'm just thinking elegant and classic. Yeah. That's yeah. the theme of your wedding. Do you want her suit to be beige color or one of the wedding colors. Whatever she's comfortable in. Of course, if she's comfortable in like a lime green, then we'll have to talk about it. Right. It was so cool to be able to break down all of the details and make something that was perfect for this occasion and for me and for this style and for our relationship. In terms of laser fitted feminine cut for the pants, higher rise yeah. waist to kind of accentuate your hips. How do you feel about that? Shove all of it in there. Let's <laughs> tuck it all in. Okay, so we're gonna pull out a bunch of fabrics and trims and see what it looks great on you. So many options. <laughs> this is why <hard. laughs> yeah. Because I'm not going to be able to decide this on my own. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> this is blue. Yeah. <laughs> like a game show host. Alex so Baldwin. Pink. So pink. <laughs> what about white? <laughs> it does have wedding vibes. It is a little Ellen, though. Ellen looks great. You're not Ellen. You don't need to be Ellen. It's very Harry Potter-ish. Let's try on a black one, <clears throat> so then you get the effect of how that would look. Now we've got the full lapel in black satin compared to the other one. This one has a higher peak. That's what's called a peak lapel. So we like the satin. In the sunlight, is there gonna be more of like a contrast between the satin and the actual suit? Yeah. It's a little hard to see outside. here. I like the difference between the satin and the suit. The nice thing about the wedding being indoors and outdoors is the suit might look different when you go outdoors and you catch the sunlight. This is pretty much the look. <laughs> yep. And just a little design attribute that we have, a lot of our clients will get the double buttonhole as a sign of equality. Oh, I love that. And it's kind of become a sharp signature. So your entire design, we have a classic black tuxedo with black satin accents for your peak lapel and for your pants, high-waisted feminine cut with a high satin black contrast waistband and a very slender tapered look on the bottom. It's going to really complement what Kelsey's going to be wearing. And and you guys are gonna be classic together, very gorgeous couple. Yes! That's all we want in life, really. <laughs> just wanna be beautiful. We'll come back in a few weeks, take care of any stylistic alterations. Yay! <laughs> so it's been a few weeks, and the suit's ready, so I'm gonna put it on for the first time today, and hopefully it fits. If not, we'll do some alterations. I'm worried about the pants. <laughs> I like it, but I think it needs to be let out a little bit. A bit like, more oh straight. No. I've got monster calves. And then we need to take in the hips. How do you like the fit of the jacket? The jacket fits perfectly. I look. Slim. Yes! I'm so excited. This is great. The suit's done. The alterations have been made. I get to try it on today. I'm pumped. This is it. This is what I'm gonna look like on my wedding day. Oh my God, I hope it's great. I want people to look at photos and be like, wow. Here's the thing. Weddings are like 50% making everyone else happy and 50% looking as hot as you possibly can. Let's go try it on. Nikki, are you ready? I don't wanna know. Wow. Perfect. That's exactly you what we great. had planned. It's very fitted, but how does it feel in terms of movement? The jacket is super comfortable. It fits really well in the shoulders, which is usually difficult for me. I love the high-waisted pants. I've like never been this decked out before. You look better than I projected. Really? So that's great. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I love this. This is like... Made for you? Yeah. <laughs> it fits perfectly and I feel so good and I look so nice. That's like what you're supposed to feel when you get married, right? Thank awesome. you, this is amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Should we bring it my friends? Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I'm so she excited. talk about this all week. Look at Nikki. I can't see her. Ready, Pana? Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. That's so good. It's like perfectly tailored on you. You look so tall. It honestly not only suits your body, but it also is your personality, which is very strong and professional and fierce. Serious, but it's still you. You look like a good combo of I'm getting married today, but also I can kick ass. Yes. This is like, sounds so stupid, but like dream come true. I didn't have like a wedding dress moment, but like this is that for me. It's better than I could have imagined. Oh, so <laughs> you guys, the next time you see me in this, I'll be on the wedding day. 
Nikki. When I decided I wasn't wearing a dress, I knew I was kind of giving up on that like, say yes to the dress moment. It's like such a played up moment for women. And I kind of thought that I would pass up on that, which I was fine with. But I ended up having it with my friends and with Tony and Leon. Kelsey's gonna flip out. Yeah. She's gonna be like, look at my wife. I almost want you to be my wife. I want you to be my wife. That wow, that's big. Cool. Change everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guys, the best part. Look at this. Oh my God. It's so nice. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you guys are going to be there. <laughs> This process was really amazing. I really like how I look in the suit. So three things that I learned from this experience. One, have people who can help you figure out how to match what you're wearing to not only your partner, but also the venue and the style and the overall theme of your wedding. Two, this is your wedding. You deserve to wear whatever makes you feel the best. So find what works for you and run with it. Three, ultimately the most important thing is that you're sharing this moment with people that you love and who love you. And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. I'm getting married in like a month. At least I will look great doing it. When I'm 80 years old, someone somewhere will be looking at these photos and they'll be like, wow, that saggy old lady used to be this? That's all I want. <laughs>
So first, we're gonna clean up your eyebrows. Do you have any pictures of things that you like? I like to look like me. So how long do these last? Somewhere between a year, sometimes a year and two years. We'll put a little numbing cream on there. So I won't feel anything? No, you will hear more than you actually feel. And that'll sit on for about 20 minutes. Feel kind of numb, a little bit heavy. Uh-huh, I'm a little nervous. It's not bad at all. This is the needle I use. It's super, super small. I will do an outline to make sure you're okay with the shape that we decide to do. So I'm basically gonna fill in this area, just kind of get it feathered through there. Bridge all that, maybe extend it just a little bit. Pretty much looks like my eyebrows now. You ready? Let's see if you're not. Let's hope so. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it does sound bad. The application itself takes about 15, 20 minutes. It's like we're drawing in hairs. Exactly. You wanna take a look at what it's looking like? Sure, is it scary? No, not at all. Oh yeah, that is super natural. It does look dark though. <laughs> it's cause it stains the hairs. That little scrapey sounds real unnerving. Are you still feeling numb? Oh, that last Not that one, yeah. It takes about three days to start to heal and then it kind of peels off. No one's really gonna notice. It'll just look like your brow gel on or something. Wow, I'm yeah. like a different person. So, you know, they're a little intense, especially this area because you didn't really have anything. But when it heals, you're pretty much gonna lose a lot of the outer edge. My forehead's been through a lot. They're a little bold, but don't worry, it's not gonna stay like that. Let's see what Kelsey has to say about it. She didn't know I did this today. Oh, your eyebrows! Wait, that's tattooed? They're very shapely. <laughs> yeah, they're a little intense, but... It'll get It's less just, intense. like, very new. <laughs> My eyebrows look like they've been drawn on, like a cartoon. The first three days I got them done. All anyone could do was look at my brows. You turned to me and I immediately noticed your eyebrows. They are darker. They look precise, though. I like it. Does yeah. It, does it hurt? No, not anymore. But they've mellowed out. My eyebrows are scabbing now. They look less intense. Right, guys? Yeah, you do. They look great. Yeah? Do you like them? I like them a lot. Yeah. I was so nervous right after because I was like, oh my god, what have I done? It's like when you draw eyebrows on a dog. Yeah. That's how it <laughs> They still look really good, but now they look like normal. Honestly, I was a little skeptical that I would see any difference in my hair, but it felt so much lighter and so nice, so shiny. It's like a beautiful unicorn. They're taking up my whole shelf. Used to take 15 minutes to clean my hair, now it takes like 45. So today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna gloss the entire hair. It's kind of like reviving your hair back up, but it's also gonna tone down some of these highlights that you have in your hair. Because your wedding's gonna be outside, we want the sun to hit it correctly and bounce off of your hair. I tell people to not go cheap on the hair or the makeup, because pretty much that's the way you're gonna look for the rest of your life. Ah, <laughs> it's so true, there's so much pressure there. My ultimate goal are my hair is so healthy that I don't have to do anything to it in the morning. I've been working out a lot, so I've been sweating a lot, but my hair's been like holding up really well. Look at you, Missy. You're getting right with the hair gods. <laughs> now you're the Virgin Mary. Ah. Until my wedding yeah. night. We're putting purple shampoo on you, what's gonna ash out some of the warmth in your hair. I definitely want some layers, and I wanna go shorter, but like if I decide to do an updo, I wanna be able to have the length to do that. So we're gonna do longer layers, and then we're gonna take it up just a bit. Wow. Just Nice, simple day. So what's next for you in your journey is just keep on with your routine. I didn't think you were gonna come through, but you did. <laughs> you didn't think I'd make no, it. No, because you look scared, but the logic behind it has definitely proven. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, you look beautiful. Do you like my hair? Yes. It looks really natural. And it goes better with your eyebrows too. Here are three things that I learned about this entire hair experience. One, while we do not need to be conditioning our hair every time we wash it, leave-in conditioner was just as fine. Two, hair is a really long process. Get help early on as soon as you can, it's not one of those things you want to leave to the last minute. My hair right now gives me a lot of versatility, whether I want to leave it down and leave it a little bit bigger and voluminous, or if I want to put it up. Either way, I think it'll look really great, so I'm excited to try out a couple different looks. Three, get your eyebrows microbladed. It's so expensive. <laughs> I guess you don't realize how much brows do to how your face looks until you get them done professionally. I'm one of those people who cares about what their brows look like now. The look, they're great. This is how you get fit. This is how you get home. This is how you live longer. Welcome to the world of fitness. It's wedding season, and this week we're talking fitness and nutrition. Health and fitness is like what everyone talks about when they get ready for their wedding. I'm gonna have that bride body. I'm gonna look so good. Everyone's gonna look at my arms. I have a really poor relationship with health and fitness. Mostly because I don't like working out if I don't have to be. Why 
Why should I be? That being said, I'm a little pudgy. I've got some love all around all of these areas. So I am getting the help from a personal trainer and a nutritionist to achieve my healthy, ideal bride body. And who knows, maybe I'll be a completely different woman. My name's Jill, and I'm known as the LA Bride Trainer. I don't want to like focus on losing a certain amount of pounds, right? but I want to feel healthier, get better stamina. I just got a little bit of pudge that I kind of want to get rid of. Okay. We're going to tone and sculpt. Tone and sculpt. So it's so intimidating. First thing we're going to do is your pre-workout workout. I'm going to get your heart rate up where your body is burning calories at a significant level. 1,500 brides so far have had a 100% success rate. Whoa. And they've all been sexy brides. Hands down. <sighs> In. Stand. That pace is perfect. Feel okay? Yeah, I regret everything. Going forward, we'll do sculpting and toning, followed by cardio, followed by abs. Yoga class or flexibility training is the perfect way to be at your absolute best on your big day. Okay. We can do that. In addition to fitness, nutrition is so, so key to getting the body that you want. My name is Kelly Levesque. I'm a holistic nutritionist and wellness expert here in Los Angeles. We work together in cleaning up the diet, but for the most part, it's really just balancing blood sugar, making sure they're fueled post-workout so they have energy. We can easily take advantage of extending your fat burning by just making breakfast carb-free. I have a formula for smoothies. It has 20 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, 10 grams of fiber. So protein, fat, and fiber together turn off all eight hunger hormones in your body. It's overwhelming at first, <laughs> but really, it's just four things. My goal for this is to be the healthiest I've ever been because I believe that if I'm the healthiest I've ever been, I'm gonna feel the best I've ever been and I'm gonna look the best I've ever looked. I just did my first workout with Jill. She left like 30 minutes ago and I'm like still recovering. So Jill has me on her 12 week bride body program. I work out with Jill three times a week. I do the bride body program by myself. I do a day of stretching and rebound and then I do a day where I do like 30 minutes of cardio. We just got right into it in that first week and she kicked my ass. For the first week, all I'm gonna want you to do is have enough protein and fat at breakfast to get yourself to lunch without being starving. So one of the first things that Kelly wanted me to do was swap out breakfast for smoothies. This was the first morning that I did that. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be enough for me to last through the workout. Two, and one. How's your workout, Nikki? Can't do any more work today. <laughs> Even though I could like barely handle the workout, Jill was never like a drill sergeant. She was always like, let's figure out what you can do. Let's give a little bit more. Let's try a little bit harder. And that was definitely something that I could get down with. Good job today. What you just did in an hour could probably take somebody three hours. It's a lot. You should be proud of yourself. I was supposed to do a little bit of cardio over the weekend and I fell asleep in the afternoon. Oops. And then it was dark outside, excuses, excuses. So like I found one of those aerobics videos on Netflix. Kelsey and I did one together in the living room just to get your body moving for 30 minutes. It was actually like really silly and really fun. Ah! <laughs> I'm rolling out my muscles. Week two was really hard because BuzzFeed's queer prom happened over the weekend. I was supposed to do at home yoga yesterday, but I worked from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., so I didn't do it. On top of that, how do you say no to free food? It's all really hard to say no to these things. It's hard when like life gets in the way, work gets in the way, your routine falls to crap, and then you just gotta start over, you gotta do it again. A few of my coworkers have seen me working out and they're joining me for today's workout. <laughs> yeah. This is really hard. I'm glad I did it with other people, otherwise I would have quit after the warm-up. It was a hell of a workout. I'm starting to love it though. Yay! Ten seconds, three, two, and one. We're going on a block run. I hate running because I never last very long, but I was like able to actually keep up a pace and do it several times. Now I'm getting to the point of I know what I can give and I know what it feels like to get better. So I like kind of like the workouts now. Ah, who am I? I literally just worked out and now what's happening, Kelsey? I think he's getting some hot pot. <laughs> it's zero calories. It's bacon cheddar flavor. Oh my God. You're welcome. <laughs> I never realized the importance of eating well when working out. There are days where I don't eat as much protein for breakfast and I feel it during my workouts. Kelly's been really helpful in fueling my body in the right way for my workouts so I don't feel completely dead after. In the morning I start with a smoothie breakfast and then at lunch I'll have salmon or chicken, cauliflower rice, and like a bunch of veggies. For dinners it's usually the same thing as lunch. So just a lot of proteins, hack in as many vegetables as I can. I'm gonna be party tonight. I started my period. Just want to eat pizza. I feel like crap. Are you talking about how you can't eat any of this? Yes. We get it, Nick. You're on a diet. Straight to the ass. Going on a Sunday run. It's totally a different energy when you work out by yourself than when you do with people. We encouraged each other, and it was like a really great time. 
now that you're going for runs with your partner, it's just important for you to just be like, it doesn't suck so much now. I kind of want to get out. Jill and I moved our workouts to before lunch, but what Kelly's recommending is that I don't eat between breakfast and lunch. But today's workout, I felt really, really empty. Like I hadn't eaten enough. I think I'm gonna give Kelly a call and see what she thinks and see how I should be switching up my diet to make sure that I don't absolutely feel drained during workouts. You feel like you are full until lunch? Sometimes. You wanna make sure that you're using full servings of protein and fat. Yeah. You wanna think about it as a way to really turn off your hunger. Yeah. So next week is my birthday. I'm gonna want all the things. I need to know what is okay and what isn't otherwise. Instead of each of you ordering a pasta dish, maybe you're sharing a pasta dish or getting an extra side of something vegetable based. I can do that. I got Korean barbecue with a bunch of my friends. And then on my birthday weekend, Kelsey and I went and ate really, really great Italian food. It's so hard for me to approach special occasions and like not want to indulge myself because somehow I feel like for turning 24, I deserve cake. Man, my my diet just completely went to shit. Last night I ate Indian food. This morning my body was like bleh, bleh. Nikki, are you okay? We're on track. I'm gonna measure you. I wanna see what your inch lost. I had pretty much just like lost three inches all around, which sounds great, but apparently I'm like not on track for what I should be. I know that the fitness is only half of it and that if the fitness and the nutrition don't line up, I'm basically sabotaging myself, which is a really frustrating thing because I feel like, oh, I worked out so well. Let me eat this cookie. But then that cookie makes the workout like not count anymore. So at this point, I kind of just have to recommit commit to eating really clean. In the long run, it's only 12 weeks of my life and the progress that I've seen so far is crazy that I'm like excited to see what's possible in the next four weeks. Nothing but boxing today. Let's kill it. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. Jill did a little bit of boxing with me and that's a workout I could totally get on board with. My arms are so tired all the time now. I'm sore, but the good kind of sore. I remember the first workout that Jill and I had together and we are just miles ahead of that now. Makes me really excited to know what's gonna happen in like 12 weeks. I'm just super impressed by the fact that every session you go all out. I'm like really impressed with myself. So this is like a typical lunch. Some salmon, cauliflower rice, and veggie stir fry. All clean, no flavor, no love, no life. It's fine, I'm fine with it. I look different, like my body looks different. It's just smaller. Thanks. It's like fitting very compactly in your clothing. These last four weeks were tough. Jill really ramped up my workouts. I did more cardio every time. I did more strength every time. I did more weights. And on top of that, I did soul cycle classes on the weekend, which are just giant sweat fests. This is our final workout. We're gonna do exactly the same workout that we did on day one. Great. By this time, the very first time we worked out, you already sat down. And I know now you could go for sure to the end of it. One more rep and done. We did it. Yeah. I didn't think we'd make it. No, I knew you'd make it. Whatever I asked of you, you always did. And I sometimes don't get that from people. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. This is the most challenging aspect of the entire process, but honestly, it's been the most rewarding. Three things I learned from this experience. One, there's no way that changing everything about your diet and your fitness isn't hard. There's no easy way out. You just gotta put in the time and you gotta be really, really disciplined. That being said, two, not everything works for everyone. You have to find what works for you. Someone else could have done the exact same diet and workout regimen that I did and had completely different results. But don't give up if one thing doesn't work for you. Three, this is possible. If I can do it, honestly, you can do it. 12 weeks, fitness, nutrition, bridal, body, boot camp. <sighs> now I just have to make sure for the next month before the wedding, I don't eat a pizza every day. Just no matter how fit and clean you are, thoughts about pizza will never end. Wedding planning. <laughs>
want and I have no idea what I want. It can be pretty hard to put your hair and makeup into the hands of someone who doesn't know you. They could all do very drastically different things. I just hope I like one of them. It's gonna be a surprise for each other. I'm not oh. gonna see what's happening to you. I'm excited. Me too. Hi, my name is Patrick Santa Anna and this is my sister. Azal. One of our favorite things to do are weddings and I'm gonna be doing makeup today and she's gonna be doing... Pretty hair. So for Kelsey, I wanna do alternate waves and maybe a soft little braid on the side. For Nikki, because she doesn't wear too much makeup, I was thinking about structured contour, nude eyes with just a wing tip, and then also a really bold lip. We always ask this to each couple, what makes it stressful? This concept of this most important day of your life and having nine months to plan the biggest party you've ever planned, constantly seeing beautiful people get married mm -hmm. and hoping that yours will look as good as that, okay. if not better. Better, okay. <laughs> For Kelsey, I had in mind to do a really pretty smoky bronze look with Ardell lashes on the sides. Have you ever had lashes on? No. Ooh, here we go. Nikki, a little bit more volume on top. Deep side part, little Hollywood-ish. <gasps> oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> the look, sexy virgin. Whoa. That's ah! the look, right? Okay, two, I'm scared. one, <laughs> go. Wow, your eyelashes. I know, you can see them, can't you? Yeah. You look great. Thank you, so do you. Thank you. <laughs> Your hair is so pretty. Ooh, it's really sexy. I like yours a lot. It's yeah. very soft. Close your eyes, turn around. So dramatic. Three, okay. two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> if Hollywood glam was what we were going for, we achieved it. I feel like everyone will just be looking at my lips the whole time. Because you're looking at your lips all the time. <laughs> also, you're like in normal clothes. If you're That's wearing a suit, it'll good. be a nice pop. I love the hair. This is everything I've wanted in a swoop ever. It's a great swoop. What do you think? About that? mine? I really like my braid. You do look like a virgin princess. Was that the look we were after? Test test. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, that's something we gotta watch out for. <laughs> now you have a little suck in your teeth. Great. I think we should cut. My name is Yukina. I'm gonna do makeup today. My name is Yuichi. I'm gonna do hair today. So are you planning on putting my hair up or leaving it down? Half up and half down. If you have like a lot of hair, if you have more volume, it's gonna be so dope. I wanna do like very soft, but cute and glam. I'm planning to do sweet and soft look for Kelsey. For Nikki the look. Simple, natural, edgy, and cool. Your eyebrow is on point. So cool that you're gonna wear the tuxedo. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm so curious to know what is going on here. I'm yeah. so curious I'm about mine so too. so curious. <laughs> there was a lot of crisscrossing of hairs over my head. I think something's happening. It's like one million bobby pins. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That is not what I was expecting. Really? It's very tall up top. Wow, is that all your hair? Why, is it really big? No, there's like a lot of different layers to it, which is so cool. You look like a princess. You look like an edgy princess. <laughs> all right, close your eyes. Okay. Three, two. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Holy it's shit. Cool. I kind of love this. <laughs> you should. It's really cool. Oh my God. There's so much happening on my head. I do have so much hair. See what I'm saying? Because you have like this and this, but then you also have this. Mm -hmm. And there's this. <laughs> if you look up wedding looks on Pinterest, this is what you find. <laughs> I think this is the makeup look that I'm after though. You look like you, but more refined. Yeah. Do you like yours? Yes, I do. I'm still coming around to a darker eye because oh, no, I never do that on yeah. myself ever. I don't know, my wow. eyes are just so huge. I'm I look like I could be in a all. band. Two down. I'm Sam and I'm gonna be doing makeup today. And I'm Crystal and I'm gonna be doing hair today. So on Kelsey, we're gonna be doing a really nice natural look. If you were to wear one, would you do blush or bronzer? Or a little bit of both? I just would like to look glowy. So however you can make that happen. Gotcha. For Nikki's hair, we're gonna do a sleek back so you can see her pretty face. You feel very sleek. You look very sleek. You feel very sleek? <laughs> I do. On Kelsey, we're gonna make her hair a little bit glam. For Nikki's look today, we're gonna be doing a nice natural look, bumped up a little bit. I get wedding nightmares still. Like what? It's the wedding Day. My clothes aren't there. And okay. Kelsey's walking down the aisle and I'm not dressed yet. People don't. With or without like, you, I'm going down the aisle. <laughs> There's so many moving parts and it's so easy to forget one of them. I'm sure. And then you just like wake up in the middle of the night and you're like, I have to call the DJ about this. <laughs> it would really suck if like you just suck, man. <laughs> but like we don't know until the wedding day. It's been a long day of sitting. It's hard being beautiful. It's a lot of work. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Oh, really? You look so beautiful. Do I? Yeah, you really do. Yeah, see the back. Ooh, it's very sleek. Your turn. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. I love that. Yeah. Yay! Okay. It's the simplest of the three, but like in a nice way. Yeah. That lip color, it's the right one. You have a very nice and natural glowy face, and it's very like sleek and smooth, very different from the other looks. I want to see myself. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh! Yes! This is what I want. Your eyes are lighter this time. I love it. I look like a ballroom dancer. 
Oh, you think so? Like we're about to do a tango. Oh, maybe. <laughs> We'd be very complimentary that yeah. way. Yeah. This is a very nice bun though. It's like a very classic look. A little more makeup than last time. I think this is a good nude lip color though. I, I really thought. like it for your skin tone. What about you? Do you like your makeup? Mm-hmm. I do. We did it. Okay, what did you think about the first look? Virgin Princess with the braid. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice and simple look, but maybe just not what I was going for. I liked the hair on my look. That was glamorous. The makeup was just like a bit too much. That second look, wowza. But I don't think I could ever wear that hairstyle for the wedding. You looked amazing though. What about you? There was a lot going on. Too much? I'm huge. <laughs> I liked your makeup though. I loved my second makeup look. I think it was a really good fit for you. I think this was like the perfect mix between the previous two looks. Still feel like myself, but like messed up. This I think is very cool, but I think for our lush garden yeah. ceremony, going slick like this wouldn't super fit into the vibe. Maybe you needed something a little more Slowly soft. and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I do like the clean neckline. Man, this was so eye-opening. I didn't realize how different I could look, but I think we've definitely got some good ideas for the actual day, right? I think so. Good job. <laughs>
welcome to this most happy of days as we join in the celebration of Nikki and Kelsey's love. Kelsey and I met when we were both pretty young. We spent a lot of the beginning of our relationship in secret. Honestly, to think about those days where we first decided to be together to now is one of the most astonishing things I've ever seen in my life and probably will ever see in my life. Ladies, you may kiss your wife. I've always known that I wanted to get married. I've been really lucky to grow up with parents who have just been a great model for marriage. That's always been something that's really inspiring to me. The wedding itself was actually this really great time that Kelsey and I spent together. Through the ceremony, through the reception, we were just holding hands or holding each other just the whole time. And those were often just like really intimate and lovely times just to be together. And we made sure to schedule that kind of time in. So it was like a little bit of hanging out with people and a little bit of time to ourselves. It was a perfect day. Everything came together. The place was more beautiful than I could have imagined. We like were able to enjoy the day with our friends and family. It really felt like such a privilege to not feel like we needed to do this in secret or we needed to be anything else than who we actually were. If you told me five years ago that this is what my wedding would have looked like, I maybe wouldn't have believed you. So this has been one big journey and I did a lot of work in terms of like being a bride and prepping myself for this wedding. I got Botox done, I got my eyebrows microbladed, I got an amazing suit custom made, I worked out and dieted for 12 weeks, I tried out a bunch of different hair and makeup looks. I think my goal early on was to be as physically healthy as I could and it totally worked. I've never been this healthy and I really do feel like I was like in the prime of my life on my wedding day. For the honeymoon, we went to Italy and I ate a lot of ice cream and I got a little bit fat and a little bit tan. Yeah, and we're married.